This video will guide you through the filling and bleeding procedure for a Magura CT disc break. You can find information about the tools you will need in the video description. First, remove the brake caliper from the frame or fork using a Torx T25 tool. This will make it easier for you later to fill and bleed the system. Prepare the syringe without a hole by filling it, along with the tube and filling nozzle with Magura Royal Blood Mineral Oil. Before starting, press back the brake pads or pistons, remove them, and secure the pistons with a Magura Transport Retainer. This prevents contamination of the pads and ensures that the brake will be filled with the right amount of fluid. Open the pad retaining screw with a Torx T25 tool and remove the brake pads. Then, replace the pad retaining screw and push the transport retainer into the caliper until it clicks into the screw. Now, it cannot fall out. Before opening the bleed screw, hold the brake caliper above the master so that oil cannot leak out. Open the bleed screw with a Torx T25 tool. Screw on the filling nozzle of the syringe without a hole and tighten it. Position the caliper below the master so that air can escape upwards. Prepare the second syringe. Before you insert the syringe, pull the plunger beyond the hole at the 30 milliliter mark. Tilt the master at a 20 degree angle as shown. Loosen the lower of the two screws so that the master can turn. The open the EBT screw with a Torx T25 tool. Thanks to the conical shape of the EBT opening, the syringe seals itself when you push it on. Now, press the oil through the system while holding the caliper in a vertical position so that air can freely rise from the caliper through the tube. During this procedure, make sure that no air is drawn into the system and that oil is present in both syringes. While doing this, pull the lever blade two or three times and let it snap back to remove air pockets from the brake master. Then, pull the lower syringe to draw the oil back and repeat this procedure three or four times until air bubbles stop rising from the master. When bleeding is finished, end the process with a last push from the caliper syringe. Then remove the syringe from the master. Block the hole at the 30 milliliter mark with your thumb to prevent oil from escaping. Now you can replace the EBT screw. Caution! Always use a torque tool so that you do not exceed a torque of 0.5 newton meters. Hold the caliper at the level of the master and remove the cylinder. This prevents oil from escaping from the system. Check the oil level by raising and lowering the caliper. The oil should come right up to the edge of the bleed opening to prevent air pockets. Finally, replace the bleed screw. The maximum torque is 4 newton meters. Check the bite point to feel whether the bleeding was successful and to ensure that no air remains in the system. When you are finished, thoroughly clean the brake caliper and insert the pads. Thanks to the magnetic exchange technology, the pads are held in position magnetically.
fasten the pads with the pad retaining screw. Use the correct adapter for your combination of rotor size and frame or fork mount standard. Insert the brake caliper and adapter over the rotor, center it, and tighten the screws with a Torx T25 tool. The maximum torque is 6 newton meters. Now, clean the brake master and the rest of the system and check that the brake works properly and does not leak. Finally, align the brake master and adjust the lever reach to your preferences. You'll find more information in the service section at Magura.com. Your Magura dealer will also be glad to help you. If you have specific questions, you can also contact us via the chat feature on our social media channels.